Hello everyone, welcome back to Oriental Empires. Before we end turn 27, there's just a few things I want to say. Very, uh, just some small, a small addendum to my previous statements. Basically, uh, when I began re-recording the game, I criticized the devs for essentially making no progress on the single player campaign. Um, after having recorded those episodes, I did a bit of research, quote unquote, research, which basically means I read the Steam store page, and there I discovered that uh, the devs are not working on the single player campaign. Uh, they're working on multiplayer functionality. They consider the single player campaign um, feature complete. So of course they're not going to be adding things to it when they consider it done. So that sort of renders my initial criticism null and void. I would still say though, as far as like a recommendation goes, that um, yeah, definitely get this game if you enjoy history, if you enjoy strategy, if you enjoy the the, the setting like China. Uh, just be aware that there are some like gameplay quirks, uh, sort of lack of polish in certain mechanics, and it you know it's just got got some quirky mechanics in general. Just be aware that it's it might not be up to snuff if you're used to AAA titles. Okay. So yeah, definitely get it if you think it's going to be fun. Um, now, moving on from that, uh, one of you left a comment with a bunch of tips for the game. And I have to agree, a lot of them were good. I was not playing wonderfully. Let's let's admit, the. let's be honest here. Basically, your main criticism was that I was not familiar with the game. And you were right, I'm not because... Or I wasn't, rather, because I hadn't really played a lot when I began re-recording. But in the time from uh, the last recording session to this recording session, I've actually played like a hundred turns of a shoe campaign and, you know, 50 turns of various other campaigns that I began and abandoned kind of thing. So I've, I'm much, 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 much more familiar with the campaign now. The uh, One of the biggest things I've done in this campaign is I've built a bunch of unnecessary buildings that I don't need until later on. For example, the foundry in Zhang, the bazaar in Zhang, as well as the uh, pavilion in Zhang. Now, I'm sure I have some others as well. The bazaar in Yiyang, the key outside of Yangdi, none of these are necessary. Trade buildings are pretty useless until you have a lot of population, which we don't. So essentially I'm paying for those buildings and they're not giving me dick all. They're giving me dick all, all right? Let's be honest. So, the solutions are to either destroy the buildings, disband my army, or, alternatively, I can just wait it out, which is probably what we're going to do. I can't, of course, cut down my expenditure on the army because we're locked in a war with the Shang right now. I don't want to destroy the buildings because I've actually put quite a lot of gold into some of them, and, unless I'm mistaken, they're not going to be costing us a huge amount. The pavilion is 30 the Bazaar and Foundry are both 90. So I think I'll hold on to them for now because I've already got the trade buildings. Their effectiveness will improve the larger my cities become and the more cities I've found. So, I mean, it, it would just be a waste, I think, to destroy the buildings. I think over a long term, it may actually be beneficial to destroy them and rebuild them rather than build, rather than pay the upkeep. But I don't want to do that math. So... <laughs> I'm banking on it uh, working out in the end. Now, I also was sort of musing about city density. And I've basically since discovered that, um, yeah, building cities this close together is just fine. Uh, it takes a very long time until your cities are actually utilizing a huge amount of tiles. Like, even a hundred turns in, I think most of my cities are only maybe utilizing four or five tiles out. Uh, rather, three or four tiles out, and those are just massive population centers. Uh, I, basically, I, I have I've had no problem building just quantity over quality, in essence. So I'm going to build a city here, and then we can you know f push further east, perhaps to the south, to the west, if if necessary. Um, yeah, I've also set up um, the battle up north here. I've got all of my units heading up north. I'm trying to sort of get them all into a position. And then I can form a battle line and push the Shang across the river. I'm not sure if this is going to work how I want it. I've got these guys in a supportive slash uh, general defensive formation. 
and this should prevent them from attacking but only react if attacked so I'm hoping that they'll swing back over here and support my offensively oriented spearmen okay this is what I'm hoping I've also got some nobles uh, coming to reinforce from this river crossing and my faction leader is going to move forward to support as well um, in Yangcheng, I've got a unit of nobles. It is the king of the Shang, Yi Lin, and he's looking pretty sickly. Let's be honest. He's not looking great. Uh, maybe he ate some bad berries crossing the river, or he smelled some fish or something. I don't know. Um, basically, we're going to struggle to, to, to dislodge him from the city. So I'm going to send some reinforcements in the form of militia and our faction air Guanchen. Speaking of reinforcements, we're sending two units of militia from Yi Yang up north. But anyway, I think we ought to end the turn now and see how the battle plays out. I'm not really confident, uh, solely for the reason I'm not sure if it's gonna work out how I intend. Okay, here we go. Okay, so immediately we have the Battle of Yang Cheng. We've got 130 militiamen ready to march against these nobles. Now the issue here is I think our militia might engage one unit at a time and I'd really rather they... Okay, here we go. They're actually going to flank the nobles. So that's going basically as well as I could have hoped for. We got two units engaging at once. Uh, these nobles are not doing what I wanted them to. They're supporting the pikemen rather than the larger battle up river. Looks like the Shang are crossing. And these units are moving. Lovely, without engaging. Okay, so here we go. We can kind of uh, get our army situated with our leader who should boost our offensive abilities. And we should be able to deal with the Shang as long as they're not crossing as many units. As okay, no, actually, there's quite a few units here. Okay, the Battle of Yang Cheng. We've got... Shit, they just routed one of our militias... One of our militia units very easily. They just slaughter them. Shit. And this unit is kind of left with <laughs> standing there with their dick in their hand because we're like, whoa, we're supposed to be the flanking force. Not the, the main battle line. Uh, okay, we're charging them in the rear. Has that caused any casualties? Uh, no, it seems. Uh, so one unfortunate aspect of playing as the Han is that they have a penalty to combat. A 10% penalty to combat, which means our militia are even shittier than they would otherwise be, meaning we also need to outnumber our enemies um, if we want to succeed. Now, I think we may have just lost Young Cheng, actually. Yep, okay, we definitely did. <laughs> they just captured the city, which is not ideal, to be honest. We'll have to get re-established, wait for Guan Chen to show up, and then he can lead the counter-offensive. And speaking of the counter-offensive, we'll have to take a look at the river just outside of Yangdi. Need more settlements. Okay, well, thank you. I realize this. We have just lost one. That's why we need more settlements. Okay, um... We won that battle pretty handily, and we lost this battle just disaster. <laughs> it was a disaster. 94 casualties. Um, and they only killed 56, so that seems to me like they routed a unit just straight up. They just routed a unit off the face of the planet, <laughs> which is not great. Okay, so we're going to get both of these units to cross the river. He What's going on here? Stop moving. You stop moving. What? Why? <laughs> okay. Okay, there we go. We've now got both units selected. So, that, yeah, that's one of those weird quirks. I have to say, like, the formation system in this... Not ideal. And I'm speaking about... You can do four lines, three lines, two lines, or one line. So you can have eight units to a tile and you can split them amongst any of these formations. But for some reason, it's very difficult to move units into different uh, lines. I'll show you eventually, but it's just extremely finicky. Small things like that that just annoy me about the game. And uh, we can definitely talk about those as we go on. For the time being though, let's get Guan Chen back up to Yang Cheng. Let's do a quick save 
um, at the autosave 2 slot. There we go. I'm still having issues with crashing, unfortunately. The first two episodes I recorded, not so much, but from here on out, yes. It's very bizarre. Alright, what have the Shang brought to bear? They've got archers and militia, which is not ideal. They have a lot of archers, actually. Which is a bit of a problem. Um, actually, we'll leave these guys where they are. Let's get them to face the right direction. We want them to defend that river crossing while our our king tries to push the Shang across the river. Now, the thing is, I do have... Do I have more nobles than they do? I've got one unit, one unit plus my king, so that's not necessarily... That's not great. I wonder if we should... I was thinking we could retreat and wait and stall for the reinforcements to arrive, but I don't think that's going to work as well as I'd hoped. Um, we are essentially tapped out as far as uh, reinforcements go. We've got one more unit in Yi Yang, which we'll get. And I have a feeling... Uh, we'll need them up north, definitely. See, I worry that Guan Chen is going to try to kill the bodyguard in Yang Cheng, and he's going to get killed himself. So we'll have to be careful with that. I don't know, like, would it be better to sacrifice militiamen to soften the bodyguard, then send in our bodyguard? Hard to say. But anyway, let's see what we can do. Um, so they have mostly archers. Which we can destroy with our units, I would think, I hope. I think we definitely want to be on the offensive. Let's get the nobles to flank. We'll get the rest of the militia to attack. Yeah, we need to push into that tile. I have a... F I don't know, I feel like we might be able to, to win if we just go... All fucking out. Our two mili our two noble units, rather, should be able to chop through theirs, their militia. And we may be able to win. I don't know. Let's take a quick look at our cities. Zhang has quite a bit of peasant unrest. 38. 20 of which is labor service. Uh, I think we're going to hold off on building any new things. Like, maybe we should throw them a festival. Get a big pinata going. A float parade, perhaps. <laughs> We're going to finish building this farm and let them rest. They can go nap in their shitty little hovels and leave me the fuck alone. I don't want to hear them whining about how they're overworked. Same with Yang Di. Yang Di will finish this farm. I mean, Yang Di has the, the fish, so they can... The settlement will grow even without the farms, is what I'm saying. Uh, so we can let the peasants rest there a little bit as well. All right, let's... Let's see how this battle plays out. Again, I'm not confident. Purely because I think the Shang outnumber us quite handily. Although, like I said, a lot of their men are archers. And archers are not great in melee. Now, the thing is, maybe... Did I not move the militia ahead? Oh, I see. We must be forming up for the battle. No? Yes? No? Oh, the white D, of course. <laughs> are blocking our progress. Alright, we can't actually move into that tile to attack the Shang because the White D and the Dong Yi are both in our way. <laughs> Which is just amazing. That's great. What else is going on? Are we just staring? We're just staring at shit happening, apparently. <laughs> okay, well, at the very least, I think we now have two additional units of reinforcements. Just south of Young D. Okay. I, I suppose that that actually played to our advantage. Okay, let's see. Here, I'll show you the formation thing. Boom. I've now got four different control groups in four different colors. So we've got the yellow for the front line, red for the second, blue for the third, green for the fourth. Let's put a unit in the fourth row. What is happening here? What... 
What am I doing? I'm just switching units are I don't understand. <laughs> okay, it's actually working quite well now then. Okay, well no, that... It just does not operate how you would expect it to operate in my experience. Okay. Let's just get two rows. We'll get the... Oh god, see it's already happening. The pikes in the front row. Sure, okay. We'll get the nobles to flank. Um, These guys are ultimately useless. There's only, what, 19 of them? Alright, we'll get all of our units to attack and flank, etc, etc. We'll get these guys in a offensive formation. They can probably go here. Uh, I see no Shang across the river, so we could probably utilize these spearmen as well. Oh my god, these spearmen? They're gonna march north? <laughs> to defend Yang Di. Um, Yi Yang, we have some nobles. Fucking great. We're gonna hire them as well as this unit of settlers. Okay. Oh boy. Alright, we'll send the nobles north. We'll grab the settlers and we will send them. I don't immediately see any worthwhile spots. These guys are a turn away from a new city. I kind of feel like we could settle them in here, or in here. And then another city somewhere on the riverbank, like this. Um, alternatively, we can just settle here and then utilize the fish through the forest. Or we can settle here. Uh, that's a bit too close, actually. No, that would be fine. Something like that. Okay, well, that's what we'll do. We'll just... Well, on the one hand, I do need more cities, but I would rather settle... Settle? <laughs> rather. Settle. Next to some proper resources, but I don't quite see any at the moment. So we'll just go over yonder and settle a plain Jane city that will hopefully uh, grow into a wonderful trading hub. <laughs> All right, we've unlocked the composite bow, and now we should research astronomy. Which will prevent us receiving any penalties from comets, eclipses, this sort of thing. It will also increase our authority, which will allow us to have more cities. We are currently, well, technically we would have four cities for four authority. Basically, you want to have roughly the same amount of cities as you do authority. You can go over your authority cap uh, with a small penalty to noble unrest, and I've never really had any issues with that in the early game. Fuck me. Look at this. <laughs> a bandit has just come out of nowhere, and now he's attacking our settlers. It's pikemen as well, which is the ultimate insult. When pikemen charge you in battle, it's just like, you know you really fucked up. All right, well... A million settlers just got stabbed in the side. Oh, they've even killed the oxen. Even the oxen. I've just seen a hologram of him killing... Oxen. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to recall the nobles, perhaps. To defend Yi Young. Yeah. Shit. Okay, the Wu are asking for some information about their enemies. Sure, why not? Uh, they've become sick. Alright, now this is annoying. The Dong Yi and the White D are just locked into the tile they're in. I think they want to cross the river, but the Shang are in the way. We can't access the Shang because the White D are in the way. It's just a it's a mess, is what this is a it's a mess. <laughs> it's not going well in any way, shape, or form. Okay, we'll um just hang tight, I suppose, because we do have a shit ton of reinforcements coming up. And, let's see, military. We do have the biggest military out of every, anyone we know. We actually have the biggest military of all players. But we are slightly larger than the Shang. So, we can just do our thing, hold off, wait for our units to uh, show up. And, um, we'll be fine, we'll be fine, I imagine. Where was I going to build the city? Somewhere in here? That would give us, what, one, two, three tiles? 
I think even three or four tiles is enough space. I'm going to build here, actually. That seems fine. All right, so we've just founded... Uh, is it Jincheng? Jincheng um, is our new city. And we're going to build some farms. Shazam. One farm. Two farms. You get a farm. You get a farm. Um, all right. What else do we need to do? So we've got the nobles heading back to Yang to defend the place. Um, not that the, the uh, bandits are going to capture the city, but they may loot our farms, and that would be a fucking nightmare. Okay, we now have three militia units in position. We're going to move and form up here, and then if we could get the Bardi Guard out of the city, that would be great, but I doubt that's going to happen. I really doubt that's going to happen. Okay, so now we're not building anything in Zhang. Oh shit, we can recruit a bunch of nobles though. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to get one unit of nobles heading to Yang Cheng, definitely. Two turns until he arrives, and then another heading to Yang Di. And Yang itself can't afford any recruits. All right, uh, let's end the turn yet again. And I doubt a battle is going to occur because the white deer are in the way. They're cock blocking us. Oh, shit. <laughs> Apparently the, the Wu have uh, declared war on us. And we're going to attack them right now. It is 531 of our militia against the Wu. This one singular unit. Um, it looks to me like the Dong, Yi, and Shang are at war as well. Are they going to attack here? Potentially? No? They're just going to waltz through each other. That's fine. Rubbing shoulders with a bunch of naked dudes on the plains of China. Sounds like a wonderful time to me. That's a regular Saturday, uh, Saturday night. Um, okay, so our armies have formed up. This is, this is just utterly bizarre. It really is. I almost want to declare war on the White D so I can get them out of the fucking way. So we can get on with our war. See, the thing is, no one can move because on the one hand there's marshes, and I'm not quite sure if you can voluntarily move through marshes. Although I feel as if you can. You definitely can. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Shit. Um. <laughs> okay. The White D... Everyone wants information from us. I don't know why that is, but we're going to give it anyway. Oh my god, look at this ominous arm movement. The Wu have declared war on us for no fucking reason. They've got their king just chilling south of Yiyang. Oh god, and our farms are being pillaged outside of the city. Like the assholes they are. They've also declared war on the Shang. I'm not sure what the fuck is going on here. All right, you guys, um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Maybe if we back off, the white D will move. I really doubt this is going to work. We could always go around. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's get these nobles to move into position. Let's get our forces to move into position as well. And then we can get the nobles as well as our bodyguard to attack the city, and then we'll garrison a few militia in the city. Uh, why the hell not? Young D, uh, how's your labor doing? Your labor service, 10. I'm kind of aiming for a sub-10 labor service penalty. That seems to work for me. Okay, Young D, Jin Cheng is still working away. Okay, um... Is the X a ch or a sh? I'm pretty sure it's a sh. Xin Cheng. Xin Cheng. Okay. Uh, we're going to end the turn again. I don't think anything's going to happen. And then we're going to promptly end the video. This is very... This is bizarre. This is... <laughs> this is such a... Oh. Somehow that worked. This singular unit just drew everyone into the battle. Okay. This is wonderful. This is a great climax to the video. I was going to say this war is... Extremely anticlimactic, but what do you know? Here we are. Okay, we're receiving missile fire. For some reason, we're wading into the river. Our 500 men versus the 300 
of the Shang. I'm having a hard time seeing our noble. This is the bodyguard, the king of our faction. Hopefully he plays it a little bit safe. If we can push through into the missile line... Oh shit, speaking of playing it safe, our king has just been charged in the flank and surrounded by... <laughs> just a million units. Oh god. Okay, well if we break their spearmen and whoop, begin flanking them, maybe we can do well here. <laughs> Where's my bodyguard gone? Eleven. We've got eleven bodyguard left. They're slowly chopping into the rears of these Shang spearmen. Um, I don't see our king though. Oh yes I do. There he is. He's chopping away <laughs> quite vigorously with that fucking sword. I think we've won this. Although we are losing and have lost a lot of men. That's because our units keep routing and we're receiving a ton of arrow fire. Plus we have units sitting around doing dick all. As is tradition in this game it seems. <laughs> it seems like the units get really easily confused as to what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, we've just routed a unit. Our king is alive, okay. <laughs> We're now chopping into archers, it looks like. Yep, okay. We've charged into the rears of some nobles. The nobles just fled, is that what's going on here? Yep, okay, I think we've definitely won the battle. If we can get some pikes onto the riverbank, I think we'll be alright. Unfortunately, we aren't actually moving forward at the end of this battle. We're going to be just outside the city of Yangdi, but we did... Uh, well, I think we lost far... This is a bit of a Pyrrhic victory. Pyrrhic victory? <laughs> For some reason, I got confused there about something I'm intimately familiar with. I feel as if this was a Pyrrhic victory. We lost far more men than the Shang did, and... We don't necessarily have any reinforcements on route, I don't think. He still has quite a few units of spearmen and archers left. But then again, the majority of his army was archers, so that's certainly something. Oh, looks like we're, uh, we're actually doing quite a bit of damage in that archer unit with our six militiamen. Wow. Those guys are very brave. They are the bravest among us. They are the true heroes. <laughs> I'm hoping as well this means that the White D, the king of the White D, of all things, will be able to move out of the fucking way, I wonder. I'm not confident. Okay, um, what's going on now? We have a farm pillaged outside of Yiyang because our nobles aren't attacking or engaging with these uh, bandits for some odd reason. And I'm loving it. This is fucking wonderful. <laughs> The people in Yi Yang are now starving because we don't have enough farms to feed everyone. Good lord. Okay. Let's take a look at the Battle of Yang Di. We lost 200 men, 200 of our 550, leaving us with a total of 350. And we killed 130 of them, leaving them with a total of 200. So 350 versus 200, we may actually do just fine. Um, our nobles are still doing quite well. They still only have a shit ton of militia and archers. So I feel as if we'll be fine. Okay. Let's set up the battle of Yang Cheng. Okay. We'll get these guys to head in. Actually, let's do it differently than that. Okay, we'll get these guys... Oh god, what am I doing here? <laughs> I just want to select this dude and tell him to... Okay, never mind. I, I'm i sorry. I'm not confused. I'm not as confused as I appear, okay? Here we go. I now know what's going on. Alright, we'll get these guys to charge so they attack first. We'll get these guys to attack as well, just in case that goes awry. Okay, we have... Oh yes, we actually do have a unit of nobles moving as reinforcements into Yangdi. Okay, this is great. We'll get them to outflank as well. Alright, this is... Okay, this is definitely... This is definitely good. Let's get all of our moonets... Uh, moonets? 
Good God, I cannot speak today. I apologize. Get all of our units to move ahead. Just two tiles until these guys arrive, and then we'll push towards the riverbank. All right, everyone. Um, I think that's all we can do this turn until we end it, which we'll have to wait until next episode. Young is not actually building anything, bizarrely. <laughs> Young D is... Uh, yep, it's fine to build another farm. Uh, could we build a granary? We could at some point. Now, I like to put a granary in every city because droughts are actually quite regular and this sort of helps to offset droughts and sieges, actually. Uh, but yeah, I think this is all we can do for this episode, so I want to say thank you everyone for watching. Um, it, it's kind of funny how at the beginning of the episode I was like, I'm not incompetent anymore, but then I'm still playing like a fucking idiot, still getting confused over the simplest shit. I just want to prove to you guys that I'm good. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, and, uh, yeah, as always, my name is Incoherence. This has been another episode of the Han Campaign in Oriental Empires. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening or whatever the fuck it is for you, and I will see you all later.